The two interacting parts of the network layer are data plane and control plane. The forwarding function is performed at what we refer to as data plane. Data plane implements local per router functionality of forwarding, which determines how a datagram arriving on router input ports is forwarded to the appropriate router output port. Control plane implements the routing function. Its logic is network-wide. It determines how datagrams are routed among routers along the end-to-end -end path from the source to the destination throughout the network. There are two different ways of implementing the control plane functionality, distributed and centralized. The distributed approach, which is the traditional approach, is implemented in each and every router and works by exchanging information and converging on the decided paths. The more recent centralized approach, which is used in software-defined networking, or SDN, is implemented in remote servers that centrally perform the same task. In the distributed approach, or the per-router control plane, which is the traditional approach, Individual routing algorithm components run in each and every router, and they interact with each other in the control plane. They exchange information to converge on routing decisions, and write the forwarding tables in the data plane on the local router based on the routing decisions. This means that each router writes its own forwarding tables. In the logically centralized control plane, which is the more recent solution used in software-defined networking, a distinct central network controller, which is often a remote server, interacts with local control agents to decide the routes and write the per-router forwarding tables at the data plane accordingly. So the decisions are made centrally and propagated through writing individual forwarding tables. Remember that when discussing the reliable data transport, we discuss it over an unreliable channel. Does that translate to a specification in the network layer? Well, a timely question that comes up here is the nature of the channel in the network layer and the service model corresponding to the channel transporting datagrams from sender to receiver. Example services that could exist for a single datagram include guaranteed delivery and guaranteed delivery with bounded delay for each datagram. Services could also be delivered for a flow of datagrams. Example services could include in-order datagram delivery, guaranteed minimum bandwidth for a flow of datagrams, and guaranteed limits of changes of interpacket spacing. So back to the question, what service models are available to provide these kind of services to a datagram on the flow of datagrams? And more importantly, for us examining the network layer of the internet, which of these services are supported in the network layer of the internet? Guarantees on timing, loss, ordering, and bandwidth are possible. For example, other network architectures, such as ATM, standing for Asynchronous Transfer Mode, support such guarantees. Proposals of integrated services and differentiated services, as in RFCs 1633 and RFC 2475, also exist for extending the Internet architecture to include such service models. However, the current Internet architecture as implemented and adopted for today's services is a best effort service with no guarantees whatsoever. In the rest of our network layer discussions, we will consider and discuss and see the reasons behind this best effort mechanism of the internet network layer.